everybody, it's Debbie here and welcome back to my Crafty Den. I am doing my Scentsy unboxing this morning and this is the December box. I just got it. Um, and I ordered some other Scentsy as well. Let me see, there's, uh, this is called the Hyg Collection or the Hug Collection. I'm not exactly sure how you spell it, it's, or set, how you pronounce it. It's H-Y-G-G-E, and um, you, if you bought the whole collection, you got them cheaper than if you bought them separately, of course, and uh, so I saved a few dollars that way. And I ordered two of these collections because I'm going to be putting some of these in with some different gift bags that I'm making for Christmas. Um, I'll be sliding one of these into... Uh, gift baskets that are going to anybody that I know use the uh, wax warmers. So I think that that's, uh, an, a, that's a good idea, just something warm and cozy and comforting for um, Christmas and these scents sure are that. So I'm going to read you what the scentsy description of these is and I have put in one of these cozy kitchen scents this morning, see? Um, I wanted to check it out and um, you know what it smells like I've just cooked an old-fashioned winter breakfast in here the scent of this the description of the scent is warm oats with brown sugar and a spicy cinnamon swirl and uh, that's what it smells like it smells like I've cooked my breakfast um, which I haven't done yet so I passed on that this morning but I am having some of my coffee and if you're wondering what I've got in this a little special treat this morning um, my coffee creamer with the it's the French vanilla flavor non-alcoholic though but yeah it's yummy really really yummy so that's what I'm doing I'm sharing this with you and having my morning coffee um, so uh, there's the cozy kitchen and then the calming woods, uh, these ones are this kind of um, olive -y green, light olive green color. And uh, it's called, and it, the description is vanilla bean with creamy sandalwood and rich cedar. Now, yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. These are all um, soft uh, indoor winter scents I guess I don't know how to describe it um, the quiet clementine is sweet orange vanilla orchid and sandalwood oh oh I like that one I really like that one I did the descriptions and I really liked the cozy kitchen description so I put it on first but yeah that's nice that's just a nice these are the types of things that you want to be smelling when you're curled up in your big overstuffed armchair in the corner with your Christmas tree lit and your favorite book and your favorite hot drink and you're looking out the window at all the outside lights in the evening. This is, this is what this makes me feel like. Um, these scents are awesome. So the... Toasty Cabin, and now this is kind of, to me, more of a, a bathroom, bedroom smell. It's, um, it kind of smells a little bit like a man's, a really, really mild man's aftershave. I love, I have a little warmer, a plug-in warmer in my bathroom. And uh, I love getting this, the, the, the manly sense for in there. I mean, that sounds funny, but I do. I love walking in my bathroom, and when I come out, or when I go in, it smells like my husband just came out after getting ready to go somewhere. So he's, he's done his hair, and so his hair stuff, you can smell his hair stuff, and his soap, and his aftershave. And I love walking into the, the bathroom, and it smells like that. Um, yeah, it's 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 nice. I love it. But anyway, that's kind of what this taste tastes like. I'm not eating them, I promise. But that's what this smells like. 
but a really mild um, scent. So it's called it says it's called Toasty Cabin, but it says that it is bergamot zest. Black pepper, wild fern, and acacia wood. Does that not sound like the stuff that would go into a man's cologne? Um, so yeah, that one will be going in my bathroom. And uh, there's no better way when you have company over either to keep your bathroom smelling nice um, than to have a, a plug-in warmer in there. I'm telling you, that's the best way. And um, woolly slippers. So... When I ordered these, I wondered what the heck are woolly slippers going to smell like? Because the first thing that that brings to my mind is when we were kids and we'd come in from outside and we'd throw our mitts and our, our wool socks on a, um, on a rack right beside the wood stove and they'd get kind of close and they'd start to get that. Um, if anybody has ever done that or put their mitts to dry on top of a heater and they start to get that little bit of a burnt smell For some reason when I read woolly slippers, that's what I thought of but thank goodness. That's not what it smells like So it's sugared lavender marshmallow and vanilla. So another kitchen scent Mmm, yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. You can smell the vanilla the vanilla is the strongest with just a hint of lavender in the background and I'm not sure I can smell the marshmallow but um, when it when it heats and the scent throws sometimes you can smell a little bit more so th that's my order I got two of those and I'm planning on sharing some and keeping some so um, along with a bunch of other stuff that I've gotten in my whiff boxes over the last uh, six months or so and I've set some things aside so I plan on doing some uh, some little gift bags for different people um, just as a thank you for different things that they've done for me throughout the year so I'm going to open my whiff box I love how these are packaged I, I, did, I mean right from the I don't know if you can see that on the camera I hope so I'm going to move this a little bit so you can see it. When you open the box, it says scent with love. Um, and of course, they spell scent like that. So, get you back in frame. And then there's always this. And the last one that I got was in the shape of a heart, if I remember. But when you open them up, there's this printed paper on the inside. So, you know what I do with this. This goes right into my stash. Um, so yeah, that's pretty. That's really, really cute. Um, so yeah, that'll go into my stash. And I keep the tissue paper. So far it's always been this purple. Um, and I'm sure Stacy loves that. If she was, if she's getting these scent boxes, or these whiff boxes, she'll love the purple. And it has the purple... Um, paper, you know, the crumpled of paper inside of it too. And instead of using, and now I love this. This is just air space, that's what it says. And they put these in here so that it don't, doesn't shake around in, in shipping, I guess. And these are just air-filled plastic bags. So you don't have a whole bunch of stuff to get rid of. Um, now let's see what's in here. I don't even know where to start. My son opened this last night because he... He couldn't wait. He, he wants to smell the new scents. So he said he smelled these and they're all really cool, but he had a favorite. So these are the, um, the little pots that they send. What are they? Ginger and spruce. I gotta smell them now too. Oh, nice. Oh, no, I, that's the one he said he liked. So yeah, the, I can see why. That's that's really nice. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells really nice. I can't even describe it. Blizzard berry. Oh, that smells like um, a little bit like cranberries, and I'm not sure what else. Cranberries, maybe. It smells like some kind of a pudding. I I don't know what that smells like. Blizzard Berry. Um, this one is called Christmas Cuddles. 
Oh, that's chocolate. It's red, but it smells like chocolate. Oh my goodness, that smells like chocolate. Oh, now that's pretty awesome. Now this is very Mary Cranberry Bath Bombs. Now I don't use, I don't have a big soaker tub and uh, I don't use the bath bombs and we, I, I have a bunch of them. So this is another thing that's going to go into my um, gift baskets, which is nice. So I, I'll have that for gift, gift baskets. And this, oh, I know what these are. These are for soaking up. It's a wheel of cotton, and it's, I don't know where it starts, right here maybe? Yeah, right here. So it's a wheel of cotton, and you peel it off, and you use it for soaking up your wax. Now, if anybody else uses scent uh, warmers, and, um, and they have lots of wax to discard, what do you use yours for? I save mine and make fire starters out of it. So all you have to do to make a fire starter, actually anything that you can use as a wick, anything that burns like cotton, uh, a tissue, anything like that that will soak up wax and, um, and you can dip it in the wax and soak it really good and leave an end so that you can light it, works awesome as a fire starter. Now I've been using um, pine cones. I just grabbed a bunch of pine cones off the ground outside and when I get a bunch of the leftover wax, I, I let it go hard, I chip it out and I put it all in a big bag. Then I put it into, a, I have a tall narrow pot and I'll put it into that and I'll heat it up in a pot of boiling water and then just dip the pine cones into it. and. It doesn't have any scent left because it's your discarded wax, but oh my, they make great um, fire starters. So here's a couple of samples. Go Go Mango Laundry Liquid, Concentrated Laundry Detergent, and the Soft, the Scent Soft. So I'm assuming that this is for your um, rinse cycle. Gogo -go Mango. I think I actually have a Gogo -go Mango hand soap in my bathroom right now and it smells really nice. So those will come in handy. I'll do, I'm going to wait until I wash my sweaters, I think. I always save all my sweaters for a load by themselves so I can do them on a gentle cycle and I might use that if that scent lasts good and um, it'll make my sweaters smell nice. And this is a uh, this is their hand soap. Their hand soaps are in these little ball-shaped bottles. Their hand soaps, um, when I first got them, I thought that's not very much hand soap for the price. But let me tell you, it takes a tiny, tiny little squirt of this stuff with your warm water. You got a ton of suds. Um, so it's a really kind of concentrated so this is buttercream, frosting, vanilla, and cane sugar. It says right on here. And uh, so it's the vanilla bean buttercream. And it's one of my favorite scents from Scentsy. It is one of my favorites for sure. <clears throat> so I don't have either one of these, which is nice. So this is the scent of the month from Scentsy. And it's called Be Merry. I should have left my website open and I could have looked this up for you. I'm not sure what that smells like. It's very fresh. Um, it has a little bit of a, a mint. Not a mint. It has a little bit of a candy cane smell or a little bit of a... Maybe I'm just imagining it. Or is it this? This is the peppermint one and I'm wondering if I can smell it. Oh yeah, this is what I can smell. <laughs> this is definitely what I can smell. This is perfect peppermint. My, that's fresh. That's really nice. I like that. But I probably have that in mind. This kind of smells like apples. This kind of smells like apples and fruit. I'm not sure, but it's called Be Merry anyway. I wish I had been able to look those up. I should have. Um, I should have just left my 
my computer open and then I kind of looked it up. And this is, oh cool, aloe water and cucumber counter cleaner. Awesome. I'm just going to do a really big clean in my kitchen. This is really good. Awesome. Very good. So yeah, I love that you get a bottle of cleaner of different signs. I got the all-purpose cleaner in my last big box like this, and I've been using it in my bathroom, and it's nice. So oh, yeah, I can't wait to try this. So that's everything that was in my box and my order. I hope you enjoyed me sharing with you. And um, if you're into Scentsy, this is a good way to stay stocked up completely. I'm just going to throw everything in here until I can put it away and then throw these in here and then I'll put it all away. I've got a big box that I keep my Scentsy wax melts in and uh, I may have to get a bigger one. So, so that's it and I've got that other bag over there with all my other wax bars in it and uh, yeah so I hope you enjoyed it and if you did give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to come join me for um, other videos as well. I do crafting videos if you're new to my channel. I do paper crafting. I do DIYs. I do a little bit of decor, just small decor pieces. Um, some de I just, I share my life. Um, all the little things that I do because I'm not focused on one thing. I'm more all over the place and I like to share all the things that keep me happy. My my main hobby at this point is planning. So if you enjoy planner videos of any kind, definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel and come back and I'll share those with you as well. So bye bye for now everybody and I will see you in the next video.